Our person of the week is a job that only 17 other people in North Carolina have. She doesn't get paid. Her day begins at 4 a.m. seven days a week, and she doesn't take vacation. So why does she do it? Well, it has to do with her passion, something near and dear to her heart. Among the regular visitors at this veterinary hospital, Come on, Lucky. every now and then, no matter the need, we are dentists as well as ophthalmologists and dermatologists. Something different. So we think something had gotten a hold of it. And you can see it's broke, it's in half. Something wild shows up. It feels like it's in line, but it's not here. Veterinary nurse Billy Garrett brings them in after others have brought them to her. It does have a way with them, it's marvelous. This one's name is Nessie. Nessie, a fawn with a broken leg brought to Billy Garrett because in Polk County, everyone knows who to go to when caring for these creatures. Come here, Nessie. Billy's one of the few in the state licensed to rehabilitate fawns. I think she's had as many as 21 or 22 this season alone. Who could not love that animal? I mean, you know, you've got literally got Bambi walking around in your clinic all the time. Away from the clinic, every day on her lunch break, she returns home to care some more. <laughs> Beginning at 4 a.m. and ending late in the evening, she makes the rounds. Anybody that is willing to buy five goats with their own money, Get up at 4 a.m., milk the goats, milk them again in the evening. You can feed 20 fawns. And the extra time that it takes, her husband, you know, had to go to a wedding a couple weeks ago. She stayed here with the deer, took care of those. That's pretty exceptional in my book. There you go, Artie. It's another chapter in the life of a woman who has grown up around animals, domesticated and wild. But it's the fawns, 16 in her pen right now, hey, that's captured her heart delicate deer that embody innocence, even a sense of peace. Young life often threatened by an act of violence. Probably man-made. I mean, they just get in the wrong place at the wrong time, unfortunately. Even in the right place, a nesting ground where the doe has stepped away for a bit, sometimes a well-intentioned human steps in, thinking the baby was abandoned. They mistakenly remove them, thinking a rescue. It being in the wild, and that's its life, you know, and, it, and I'm trying to help it be able to live that life that if I wasn't there to help it, you know, it wouldn't have. In her life now, but gone in a few months, because returning them to the wild, she must. Hey, hey, hey. It's the law. Doesn't make it easy. You can't work around some of the most beautiful, gentle creatures known to man and not feel a sense of attachment. The first and second year, I definitely did. That, you know, and, and I've learned a lot of how to, how to rehab and not to come out here and love. You see, they're not even coming up to me while you're out here. Sure enough, despite all their contact with Billy, they shied away from us. Nothing personal, just practical for their survival. That's what we're after is no human imprinting so that when she releases them in December, they can survive. As long as they're healthy, they need to be skittish of you. They need to be scared. He's starting to get little nubs on his head. Cared for, but never kept. And when it's time to go, Billy will know. Are you hungry? She's made a life-saving difference for something so dear. Maybe to a certain extent she feels like she's giving back. They're pretty neat. She's passionate about it. Well, the cost of rehabilitating just one deer, feed, fencing, and other expenses is estimated at $600. To learn more about Billy's Silver Creek Fawn Rehabilitation and how you can help, go to our website, WLOS.com, and we will link you.